Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This video is a what I eat in a week. I'm getting a lot of requests for more what I eat in a day. So I thought why not just show you guys pretty much a step-by-step -step lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, what I eat in a week. Um, all of these things that I'm gonna show you guys in this video are super accurate. I don't do keto anymore. Just wanna repeat that again. A lot of people keep thinking I do keto, but I do not. I eat right now is no longer a diet it's basically my lifestyle um i do include carbs now in my diet fats protein vegetables the whole food chart everything like i don't eat unhealthy of course i eat very smart i eat very organic i eat very whole foods like i shop at whole foods and trader joe's almost every week. I think this video is super helpful for those who already finished their goal weight, already lost that weight, and now they wanna maintain their goal weight. You know, after I lost the weight and keto was over for me, it was nervous for me to transition back into eating carbs and, you know, having a little bit of cheat meals because I was so worried that I was gonna gain weight. But actually, I maintained my weight, I even lost more weight um, because my body was accepting it because I did it in such a slow process. Also, really quick, I wanted to mention that some of these clips are from when I was in Michigan visiting family for the holidays. And if anybody's familiar with the Midwest or from there, they know that, you know, you're not gonna find those healthy options that you find in big cities like LA. You know, I couldn't find any vegan alternatives that much or healthy fast food places to pick up. So I, Definitely I'm including clips of what to do when you're in a price crunch or a location crunch and you can't find these healthy alternatives that usually you see me or other people eating online. Um, so it's not supposed to be hard. Eating healthy is not hard. It does not have to be hard. It's easily, easily attainable if you just think smart and shop smart. So I'm definitely including that in this clip and I hope you guys find this video helpful. To start off my day, I love making myself avocado toast. Yes, I still make it every morning like my last video. I use whole wheat or sprouted bread, turkey breast deli slice, one organic egg, and one organic avocado. And I just heat up my pan with some olive oil and just crisp up that turkey breast slice just to make it a little bit more crispy and give it that bacon feel. Once I've toasted my bread, I go over and cut up that avocado and put some slices on top, smushing it together, making sure it's completely covered. I like to season my avocado toast, so I'm going to get some red pepper chili flakes. Also fresh ground pepper and salt. And then I just sprinkle a little bit directly on that avocado before placing that crisped up turkey breast on top. And then I'm just cracking that egg right on there and then once my egg is pretty cooked um, through I like to flip my egg from sunny side up all the way down just to crisp it up on both sides because I don't like my eggs too runny And then to top it all off, just freshly ground pepper and salt, and then I'm done. My breakfast is ready, and I just serve it with some hot coffee, and that's how I start my mornings, before my workout, before my day. This keeps me full for a pretty long time.
Now for lunch, I don't eat too heavy because I'm usually planning to go to the gym after work. So I just stick with some type of light meal. Today I'm having a salad. This is just a chicken salad with vegetables. Um, it did come with cheese and croutons, but I'm not going to add any of that into my salad. I don't really do that. I just stick with the meat, the protein, and the veggies, and then put light balsamic vinaigrette on top, keeping it healthy and light before my workout. After the gym, I like to go to Whole Foods and get a protein smoothie, either a berry or mango smoothie. And today I did mango. It was really good and it had plant protein in it with almond milk. And while I'm at Whole Foods, I love going to their hot food bar. They have so many healthy options including chicken breast, brown rice, and tons of vegetables and everything's organic. So I like to stock up on a lot of chicken breasts so I could use them throughout different meals the next day. Um, a little bit of roasted potatoes, Brussels sprouts, brown rice. This is great for after a workout, especially if you're building muscle with the carbs that they have, healthy carbs. Some broccoli, and some sweet potato or yams. And, and that's my dinner, you guys. Full of good carbs, lots of protein, perfect for post-workout. This morning, I am making a chocolate coffee shake using chocolate almond milk. First, I'm going to pour black coffee right into my Ninja cup. Then I'm gonna add one entire banana. Next, I am going to add the chocolate almond milk, which is only 70 calories and it tastes so good, guys. I literally sometimes just drink a cup of this as dessert. And then make sure you add ice and go ahead and blend it up. And that was my breakfast. It was so delicious and gave me some caffeine to start my day. Also, you can add protein powder to this if you guys want. For lunch, I just grabbed some California roll sushi from Whole Foods made with brown rice and also a baked salmon roll made with brown rice. For dinner, I am making salmon with baked vegetables. I already bought pre-cooked vegetables, but I did get fresh salmon from Trader Joe's. First thing I do is spray olive oil onto a baking sheet with foil. Then I season my salmon with black pepper, pink Himalayan salt, garlic powder, and barbecue sauce. Believe it or not, it tastes so good on salmon. You guys try it and tell me what you think. I just put that in the oven for 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. Comes out super crispy. Look at that, wow. Now for the vegetables, I just spray a new pan and just take out the pre-cooked vegetables. There's the potatoes in there and carrots. And I season it with salt and pepper and then heat that up in the oven as well. And then for an additional side, I'm going to use a cranberry apple quinoa salad I got from Trader Joe's also. This tastes so delicious. Try it out. It tastes really good paired with salmon. 
And I'm just gonna put the salmon on top and the vegetables on the side, and this was my dinner. This Wednesday morning, I'm making granola and yogurt. I am using the company Low Carb Keto Nut Granola. This company makes so many amazing keto-friendly snacks. And today, this one is a cinnamon almond pecan granola. And as you can tell, it has no carbs, only two grams and only four grams of sugar. Lots of fiber and protein, perfect for keto if you're still on it. And then for yogurt, since I don't eat dairy, I am using coconut milk yogurt. I just put this together in a bowl and I can add fruit to it as well or honey and it's my breakfast. For lunch, I decided to just grab some Chipotle. Yes, you can eat healthy at Chipotle. I get the chicken bowl with guacamole, extra chicken, brown rice, fajitas, black beans, corn, salad, you name all the veggies. And it is seriously still in my diet because it has brown rice, it has the protein from the chicken, and it has all the vegetables, and I like to add hot sauce on top. And that is an ideal lunch post-workout for me. For dinner, I'm gonna make one of my favorite dishes. I'm gonna make some marinara pasta with meat. We're gonna use some brown rice pasta, onion, ground beef, and organic tomato sauce. I'm gonna first be cutting up and dicing the onion and putting it in my food processor. This is just an easier way to get my onions to be diced up quickly. Pouring olive oil in a pan before I fry up these onions. Then I'm going to add the ground beef. This is 85% lean ground beef. Um, usually I use ground turkey, but I had some of this left in the freezer and I thought why not use it up. But even to be extra healthy, I use usually ground turkey. And to season my meat, I am using red pepper flakes, black pepper, salt, turmeric, paprika, and then just mix it all in and let it cook. Then I'm gonna just throw in my brown rice penne pasta. Jovali is an amazing brand. You can find this in Whole Foods. And then Rayo's homemade tomato sauce is amazing. It is so organic and it's only 70 calories for half of the jar. And literally the ingredients include tomato sauce made from tomatoes. That's it. As organic as you can get. And I just add that to my meat and let that simmer down and cook before adding the pasta together. And then I like to sprinkle on a little cheese. Like I said, I don't eat dairy, so this is almond alternative cheese from Trader Joe's. It melts amazing. And then I just mix it all together into the pasta and serve. As an option, if you really crave fresh grated Parmesan and you're vegan, the Go Veggie brand is amazing. This literally tastes like freshly ground Parmesan cheese and I can't tell the difference. This Thursday morning, I am making an omelet. I'm gonna start with 
whole wheat toast, tomato, onion and avocado, two eggs, and Daya vegan cheese. First, I'm gonna get my pan heated up with some vegan butter. And I'm also gonna add a turkey bacon. I'm gonna do three slices, but one of them was for my dog. <laughs> And then I'm gonna dice up my onions, tomato as well, and I'm gonna also cut up my avocado. I'm just preparing before I start to cook this all together. Then after my turkey bacon is completely cooked, I like to take out all the excess oil from the butter and pat it down with a paper towel. Then in the same pan, I'm gonna fry the onion and the tomato. I'm gonna crack open both eggs into a small bowl and I'm gonna whisk that together to make the omelet. I'm gonna add salt and pepper to it, of course. Once my onions and tomatoes are almost thoroughly cooked, I'm gonna also chop up the bacon into small little pieces. And I'm gonna add the whisked up eggs right into the pan on top of the onions and tomato. And to make sure everything was spread out evenly and coated, I'm gonna move the pan around until all of the egg is covering each tomato and onion. <laughs> and I'm gonna add the turkey bacon right on top when it was pretty much halfway cooked. And then lastly, the vegan cheese, just a little handful sprinkle. I'm gonna try to attempt to flip this. It was low key a fail. Yeah, okay. And then avocado slices right on top and a whole wheat toast to pair. And then I just drink it with some orange juice and a little bit of grapes, and that was my breakfast. For lunch, I got a chicken tender salad. I went out to eat with my sister and her friend, and they recommended this. Um, I didn't get ranch or cheese like they did. I got Italian vinaigrette instead, and it was really good. For dinner, I ordered takeout from one of my favorite Middle Eastern restaurants. I got salad and chicken kebab. This is one of my favorite food combos. And a side of hummus as well. And this is completely keto, believe it or not. I would eat this a lot on keto. This Friday morning, I am making oatmeal. I'm gonna be using strawberries, blueberries, a banana, and honey to top my oatmeal. And this is just the standard Quaker oatmeal. I'm gonna be using maple and brown sugar, but I highly recommend just using plain oatmeal. This is all I had at my parents' house. So bra maple brown sugar it is. And the milk I'll be using as a substitute is vanilla almond milk. Once my oatmeal is ready, I'm going to top it with the bananas and the strawberries and the blueberries.
And lastly, a little bit of Manuka honey, which is really great for you. It has amazing antioxidants. Definitely look into it and get it at your local Whole Foods. And voila, that was my breakfast on Friday morning. For lunch, I stopped by Quidoba. It's kind of like Chipotle, and I got the same kind of thing I get at Chipotle. Brown rice, vegetables, extra chicken, and guac. I love getting this after a workout, you guys. It tastes so good, and it's not bad for you at all. And I stopped by Plum Market, which is like a Whole Foods here in Michigan, and I got chicken breast, roasted carrots, and mushroom rice pilaf. So there you have it. That's basically what I eat throughout the day. Um, it's honestly very accurate. I don't cook that much. And when I do cook, it's usually the same things that you see me buying. Chicken, fish, vegetables, rice. Um, and it's really great. I enjoy eating it and I think it's worked so well for me. And I hope you guys um, find it helpful, find some places to go now and find some things to make that you think will, you would enjoy throughout your journey of losing weight or also contain, maintaining your new weight. And yeah, I really want to know what else you guys want to see, especially for the new year. I've made it a resolution to post more, especially because I still get so many messages and so many comments from you guys telling me you really want to see more videos, you want to see more tips and story times, and I am totally up for that. I just want to know exactly what you guys want to see, what you guys want to know, and I am completely down to film it for you guys. So be sure to comment below, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye.